Okay, I'm going to make sure we're recording. Testing one, two, one, two. Um, hello, uh, viewers, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're doing a bit of a business episode, and it'll be a day out, a day in the life off kind of thing, just to get some movement in here. Uh, but what I wanted to share is five things that really helped me grow in business the last few years. And with that, sat, with that said, I'm a very, very small fish uh, in a very big pond when it comes to business. But if I compare myself to myself, what I've noticed is that I feel like I've grown a lot the last few years. And um, I wanted to list five things that I felt actually really helped when it came to growing. And uh, we'll just take off. Good morning. We're heading to Göteborg first to play some paddle with a friend and then meeting a colleague and then meeting a new potential partner and then going to check on some land that I'm curious as to if we could potentially buy and get hold of. Number one, I believe um, humility and, and being more humble has, has made me a much better listener and much more you know just this I got I got a much bigger interest in other people and that comes from being more confident in myself maybe feeling more like I'm, I'm okay and I'm enough so I don't need so much for myself from others and that gives me time and opportunity to instead go and listen to others and when you listen to others, you get to hear a lot of great stuff. And uh, it also makes others feel really good when you can pay them attention and, and stuff. So it's like a win-win where you can make them really happy and you learn a ton uh, along the way. So here's a fun little update on how the day is progressing. I started off early and then I went to go play um, paddle with my friend Christian. Uh, who runs a cool podcast, link below. And then after playing, I realized that I forgot my change of clothes. So I'm stuck in my really, really sweaty clothes because he's a lot better player than I am. So he had me running around like a fool. And now it's too early for the uh, shopping malls and the clothing stores to be open. So I, I can't, so I'm, I'm, I'm currently one hour away from home and I'm headed another 45 minutes further away from home for a meeting, a lunch meeting later. Uh, and on that meeting, it doesn't really fit to wear sweaty um, sports clothes. So I need to go get hold of clean clothes before. Um, and I can't do that until the uh, shops open. So we're gonna have to, to do a little errand in between. Uh, and that is running across town. We're in Göteborg, Sweden. We're running across town to see uh, our buddy Hannes and we're gonna deliver some of our um, printed clothing, just t-shirts and sweaters. Sadly, no underwear and pants, which is what I need, but um, our printed clothing to him. Uh, so we'll head through town, drop off his clothes, come back, buy some clothes in the mall, go back to the paddle place and get a shower, and then we can drive to the meeting. Whew. Number two is almost, yeah, these are not, in order it's just whatever comes out I think it helps a ton be more confident with what I want in business so with knowing the outcome I want it makes it much easier for me to say yes or no and deal with people and uh, influence so when I go into a meeting or, or, or when I negotiate a deal I make sure I know what I want and I don't divert from it and having the confidence to stick to what I want um, helps me a ton. So that's a very good strategy for me to, to, to you know, make sure I know what I want in business and stick to it.
kommer bli bra. Number three. Don't be desperate. It doesn't usually help. Anytime I feel like I try to rush something or, or get something quick or, or make some quick money in an easy way or do something rash, it always tends to like just not work out. Versus if I come in without any any you know any need just hoping to produce something good together with someone or, or or hoping to you know achieve a good result together with someone then it tends to work out a lot better than if i get into something desperately trying to get something out So good, we are now headed from Göteborg, we're done with Göteborg and our next stop is Borås where um, a colleague of mine uh, in Florida, Fredrik, who I, I uh, run the company Nordapods with, uh, I'll put a link in the description to Nordapods, uh, he has a friend that's done really really well in business and he lives in Borås and uh, Fredrik was kind enough to set up a meeting where I got to go see him. Number four. Number four. What have I changed lately? Hmm. Think win-win. Sort of the same as the last one, but I want all deals I do to be good for both parts. If I have a buyer and a seller, I want to make sure the buyer get a good deal. Uh, that they are happy with and that they feel good with what happened and that the seller feels good if I'm a seller that is if I'm the buyer it's the other way around then I want to make sure they feel good as a seller and get what they need and I need to make sure that I can get what I need out of it so win win equals much more win <laughs> great 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 lunch done and um, really interesting guy he did fantastic in starting up a uh, big big retail company online that's still active is sold out to a uh, investment fund but kept 30 percent and that same business has just kept on growing since so that was a lot of fun actually right now i'm holding a bunch of papers in my hand because i'm gonna go and visit the bank in this local area where um my dad grew up and his godmother um, started saving some money for us as kids in a local bank here and uh, that worked out really good for us we got a few thousand dollars each when we graduated from that account but um, since then i've left it and I, I think there's like 30 bucks in there now with uh, the old uh, godmother of my dad gone so no more money coming in and I'm just getting a ton of paperwork and pay fees to keep it open. So I'm going to go close the account out. Number five. So I think God has built something into the universe that sort of equals that it's counterintuitive, but it it's like it's it's in the Bible. And it's also in all the business book written in different ways. You have to give to get. So in order to get in business you have to give more and you usually have to do the latter first meaning you have to give more first and then you'll get more and that could be like you know make the rentals a little nicer than they had to be for the price your customers are paying and then all of a sudden you have better customers and and somehow magically more money comes towards you or uh, when you provide a product or a service a service is a good example then just give more service than what might be expected of you and just keep giving more service than what might be expected of you and you'll get more back um, than you thought and usually a lot more than if you would have just tried to be greedy and do the bare minimum or, or, or always thinking of yourself so like think of the other part and make sure to give them more um, than they deserve and in the long run I think that serves us really well yeah those are five I hope they're okay just a quick 
visit at my grandparents' grave. They lived in this area and my father grew up in this area on a big farm just down the road. It used to be a really big farm and sadly it's not in the family anymore. And since I was in the area I stopped by my grandparents' grave, visited the church and said a prayer and now we're moving on to what is the most important thing of the day in my opinion as I'm going to look at and discuss and take some action towards getting hold of some land that I really want to buy but it's too early to show that now we're talking about it now so I'm gonna you know I don't want to get competition or anything so I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and do the rest of my errands uh, with the camera but I will save that material for another video so with that thank you for tagging along today I, I'm happy you watched this video um, comment like subscribe all the good stuff and check all the links in the description thank you so much talk soon bye